Hey, what's up guys and welcome back to my YouTube channel. It's me Saeed and today's video we're gonna be going uh, ahead and talking about where I was in the past month and <coughs> why I haven't been uploading and uh, yeah guys the thing is that I was a bit sick lately so I had to go to the emergency center and all that stuff and as I said I was sick and uh, hopefully after today I'm gonna keep on uploading and I am sorry for not uploading anything about these challenges and telling you guys how to do it or any tutorials on these things and yeah guys now I'm feeling good hopefully after today I'm gonna keep on uploading more videos and there will be a new event next week so we're gonna start uploading about that event and helping out with challenges and yeah today's video I just wanted to check out and tell you guys that you definitely 100% need to get this hero the Paleo Luna, she is really good. She's just awesome of a ninja. She is, uh, you can get her from the event right now. And I just wanted to make a video on it to tell you guys that you guys should definitely go ahead and get it from the event Tales of Beyond. Do your challenges, it's only four pages, it's not really that hard. And on the fourth or the third page, actually, you're gonna get Paleo Luna, and she is one of the best ninjas in the game right now. And uh, yeah, uh, the, the loadout I have right now is pretty good on it. Th this is like every one second adds 3% uh, of current health. It's not a best one. The the Outlander that's coming next or this week is going to be the best for this loadout. So we can instead of the Saurian Mythe, we can put uh, or the Saurian Mythe, we can put that Outlander, which is going to increase your shield or I mean your uh, energy. So yeah, that's gonna be pretty good. Hopefully you guys enjoy the video. We're gonna go ahead and check this out in two zones. What's gonna be one is gonna be level 100 and the other is gonna be level 138. And hopefully. Yeah. <coughs> Consider it. There we go. Consider it and um, patient. I guess would be the way to go with that. In order to make sense. You guys, it's so good. This game has been going pretty well. You know, I never thought about combining that uh, trap song. Uh, yeah, let's go ahead and I'm gonna show you guys some more gameplay with it. Like over here, as you guys can see. And we're gonna go to 138 mission and then just get some gameplay in there. Yeah, as you guys saw, it performed pretty well. It's not, it's not that bad, you know. For <coughs> for a 106 sword, it's it's really good. And then also, you can use this 106 in high level guns. Like you can use 82. So let me actually go ahead and try and use an 82 and see what happens. So I'm using an 82. Oh man, did you see that? It just hit him one hit almost. See guys, it's literally one hitting. I'm only using an 82 in a 106 zone, guys, alright? This is an 82 in a 106 zone, and this is how it's performing. Wow. Ah, I, I am amazed by how good this is. So it's literally three hits. A missed one is going to be three hits. Let's go ahead and do this encampment over here. The performance is great. See, one, two, three. Bam, gone. <coughs> it's, it's awesome. Now, keep in mind, guys, I'm using an 82 and a 106. So, ready? One, two, three. He's almost dead. So, if it was going to cause affliction, you would have been dead by now. And it's just great how good it is. Alright. I'm just going to use it. Now, most of these are all basic houses as you guys saw. That's because I'm going to build the radar tower so it doesn't spawn really high level husks or anything, you know, anything above the small one. But as you guys can see, I am using a 106 and a one, uh, I, I mean a 82 and a 100 zone. And it's performing pretty well. Yeah, the whole point was to tell you guys to definitely get it, do your quest light, and it's just amazing how good this hero is. Uh, once again, thank you guys so much for watching. Have an amazing rest of your day.